I wanted to share a little bit. <clears throat> so I wanted to share with that. So I wanted to share a little bit with you today about what I'm up to after graduation. Wait for it to focus. Okay. It's really still focused. <clears throat> What's good, YouTube? It's Jano, and I want you to know that wherever you are in the world, you are loved and you are loved. And I'm proud of you. I can say that with confidence because we're all on a journey, and wherever you are is okay. So, this is my first ever official YouTube video. I'm getting my channel started, y'all. I am excited, a little nervous, but it's okay. We're gonna make it through. Um, I wanted to share that your boy just graduated. I know, it's wild, it's amazingly wild. Here's a few clips if you wanna see what that was like. Like, can I even add? Like, what the fuck was AP Calc for? Why did I do that? Hey, what's that? What's that? The moon, The moon. Stop. Stop. I just graduated from Stanford University with two degrees, two bachelor's degrees, one in African and African American Studies for the culture, and another degree in Human Biology. And what am I doing with that? Who knows? But again, we're on a journey. So. I wanted to share it with you all today and talk to you about the journey I'm embarking, why I'm starting this YouTube channel, why I'm asking you to listen to me and support me in my journey, officially situated as a college graduate, and I do not know what I'm about to do with my life, um, but I have a few opportunities lined up. And most substantially, most intimidatingly, I am starting my journey as a van lifer or a nomad or a minimalist liver um, whatever you want to call it today I am starting my journey I am purchasing a cargo van used because you know we got to save on our coins I um, mean used is almost as good as new um, hopefully but yes so I'm starting my journey as a van lifer I'm going to be buying purchasing a cargo van that's completely empty insulating it, building it out to become a small, tiny home on wheels, which I hope to inhabit for the next year and beyond, potentially. Um, but you are going to be one of the first people to witness me on this journey um, and, 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 and walk this journey with me, as you will, in, on your own time and space. Um, yes, and so why? Like, you just graduated. You graduated from a top-ranked university in the world why are you moving into a van? Where is your salary? Where is your six figures? Where is your 40 acres in the mule? I don't know, y'all. So I'm, <laughs> I'm figuring it out. But most importantly, what I decided recently, I decided recently that the work I want to do in this world and the way I want to exist is going to be a life of public service and art and community organizing. And that's just working with the folks I know and love, meeting new people and helping us collectively get to our highest level of life, highest level of health, highest level of wealth together, um, and, and to express and have fun and travel and do all those other things on, on the way. And that lifestyle, that choice of career, you could say, that choice of work, life work, I would call it, is not necessarily the most well-funded or the most concrete point A to point B type of career that I can that I can manifest for myself, but it's the work I want to do and it's what I'm most passionate about. I'm most passionate about a life of service and communicate community and collaboration and, and creative expression. These are things that I love and enjoy and 
with my degree and with, with, with the people I've been able to meet on this journey so far, I realized that this is definitely something that I can manifest in my life and definitely something that I can put myself forward and accomplish and do. Um, and I say accomplish as in accomplishing that style of life and living um, in a way that's healthy and sustainable. It just takes a different level of preparation, a different level of connection. And so this is going to be one of the many ways in which I try to connect with folks around me and connect with community and build community um, on this journey to know that we are all together and all protected and we're all able to, to bounce off of each other, bounce ideas off of each other, find ways to collectively support each other um, in, in the life that we want to make for ourselves and the world we want to make for ourselves. So it's a, again, it's a journey, it's a process. But because we're all on a journey about the journey, my journey, starting my journey. So I'm starting my journey as a meet on this journey so far. On this journey, again, it's a journey, it's a process, but journey, this journey to me, on this journey, I'm on my journey. This journey, journey, so that's the journey I'm on. Again, it's a journey, it's a process, but I've chosen this one because I want one that's fulfilling. I want one that is surrounded and filled with love. I want one that I can breathe and go to sleep peacefully and knowing that I'm doing the work that really means a lot to me. Um, and if I'm not, I'm on my way to, to do it. And so, um, yeah, that's the intention that I'm moving forward with. Why van life in particular? Like, yo, you're gonna live on, you're gonna live in your car. Where's, you know, you know, where's your garden? Where's your backyard? You know, where the dogs, where the kids? Okay, so van life to me, um, as it's often referred, is to me a way of living as a nomad on land that I don't believe belongs to me or anyone else who typically is owning it in our society, especially American society is what I'm referring to. America is what we might refer to as a settler colonial state. And I'm not gonna say that with a happy face because it's not a happy it's not a happy reality. Yo, we've sit here um, and we've, we've, we've taken land by force and by disregard for treaty and peace. Um, in the in the sake of a dream called manifest destiny, and in sake of a and on, in on behalf of a sort of philosophy of scarcity and a philosophy of greed and a philosophy of self-interest, which I think has manifest a world, um, a relationship to the land, a relationship to other people that is not healed. I would say it's not liberated, it's not freeing for all, and it's not obviously not equal. We can't say we live in an equal society. And so knowing that, <laughs> coming into the coming into you know adulthood from that realization, it was really tough for me to imagine paying rent, which would be funds that I worked really hard for, to someone not for their own fault, but someone who is, is sitting on occupied land and and, and, is, and is owning land and, and, and leasing it to other folks, um, often at increasingly difficult rates for the average person. Um, it's not affordable, it's not affordable, and I don't think it's a healthy lifestyle. Um, I would much rather invest in a project of my own where I can build my own living situation. I'll be able to travel when I don't know exactly where I want to inhabit and spend the rest of, spend a lot of my, uh, substantial part of my life in this next stage. Um, and I'll be able to, I'll be able to sort of learn right relationship with the land and meet folks who are really trying to imagine themselves in right relationship with the land um, and spend my time getting to know more about this, about this body of land that I'm, that I, that I was born on. Um, and yeah, and just and get to know a lot more about myself and, and this journey to me feels like one that is freeing like I can I can I can see myself on the road and breathing really peacefully I love to drive and I love to I love to get out and see the world and see nature and rock climb and kayak and all those wonderful things and do all these hikes and so I'm very excited for this type of lifestyle and living I'm blessed to say I have a remote opportunity to do work next year it's a funded fellowship so I won't be making a ton of money it is in the philanthropy world and public service so I won't be making a ton of money but I will be making enough to sustain myself in this lifestyle um, but I will need community support to help me get to there and to help me to create the van that I want to live in comfortably um, and so purchase the van itself. Um, so I'm working on the funds that I've graduated from college with. I've worked a couple jobs a year in college and saved up what I could and so that is that is where I'm coming and starting and this is again the vision that I have for my life in the next stage. And so yeah on this journey I hope to learn a ton of things about self-sustaining lifestyles, about about again right relationship with the land 
about myself and my needs and, 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 and what, what I can leave behind and what I, what I need to take with me on my journey. I want to downsize. I think, I think I've moved from a place of, 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 of low resources from, from before college to a place where in college I was fully funded on scholarship and I was making money and I had to relearn my relationship to material things. And so this next stage in my life, again, I'm trying to shift back to a framework of frugality that to me is, 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 is healthy and sustaining. And again, I can save up funds for rainy days. I can save up funds for when they might not be flowing in as easily. And I can, again, live, live by my own means and, and no more. I don't want to be greedy in this life ever because I think that there's just so much to go around. Um, and so hoarding wealth and hoarding, hoarding resources for me doesn't feel good, and to, point it, to put it simply. And so that's the journey I'm on. That's all I wanted to say. That's, that's why I'm choosing to move into a van right after graduation. Thank you for listening. If you want to keep up with me and follow me on this journey, you can like, you can comment, you can subscribe, you can share, and you can donate. I have a PayPal and Squarespace set up, and I, I also offer services of photography and of graphic design. If you need those services and you want to hire me and fund my, and fund my again, fund my journeys and fund my work, um, I would really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much. Um, if you do subscribe, don't forget to turn on the notifications. I'll be trying to post regularly. Editing videos is another one of my passions. Um, it's difficult, but I love it. And so if you want to hear more, learn more, see more, um, and we can be more together, like, comment, subscribe, and share. Otherwise, thank you so much for being here. Be well and be blessed. I'll catch you in the next one. Don't forget to take a deep breath. We got this. I'm out of here, y'all. Next one.